July 12th, coming out of Iyala Von Zant's Acts of Faith. If you are having a bad day, get another one and get it quick. This is by Reese Harris. If you are having a bad day, it is a personal problem. The world does not have to deal with it. If you get up on the wrong side of the bed, it's no one's fault but your own. If it is that time of the week, month, or year for you, what would you have the world do? It is never an excuse for being rude, cruel, or abusive to anyone to simply say, I'm having a bad day. It's not appropriate to scream, swear, lash out, or do things that have no place among civilized people because you have something else on your mind. We cannot abuse or traumatize others because we are facing a challenge. Life is a challenge. African tradition tells us that it does not matter what difficulties we face. Our worth is measured by how we face those difficulties. If we are to grow and reach our fullest potential, we have no time to waste on bad days. Today is a new day. I refuse to get off to a bad day start. What are your strategies for getting over a bad day without lashing out at the world? That's a nice journaling prompt or it has here reflection. If you are having a bad day, get another one and get it quick. I am Tammy C. Walker, owner of Dreams Are Reality. I don't even know if I said that. I created this channel for light and love. I don't think I said any of that. Ha <laughs> ha. Alrighty, bad day. Have you met people? Every day is a bad day for them because they just have a bad attitude. And no one wants to be around someone with a negative spirit. No, everybody's not going to be Polly Sunshine or Marvelous Mark. You know, some people just have that glow. I think my sister has that glow. Her husband calls her Sunshine and it's appropriate for her. It's my older sister, Vanessa. Very positive, very bubbly, chipper, always smiling. If I call her or if she called me and she in a bad mood, it's bad because she doesn't let a lot get her down. She has that knack for staying upbeat. I don't know how she does it because I'm not th I'm not wired that way. But um, I really try hard not to be rude to others. I'm really cognizant of that, and I, I didn't always get it right, but I hope and pray I was never, like, just downright rude to people. Yeah, I got a sharp mouth, and I'm going to tell you how I feel. Now, that's just me, but I hope I never do it in a way that's hurtful, and if I have, I feel bad over that, and I apologize, but it's not fair to people to go out and be mean to a waiter or waitress. You're you're beneath me. I'm going to treat you like dirt. That's wrong. So many people do this. Or you're at the store and you're in a hurry. Well, why'd you go to the store? Don't you don't you love that? Like pre-COVID and now everybody back on top of each other. This guy did it to me yesterday. I was in the grocery store on lunch. And I turned around and he right there. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> What's up with you? No, I didn't say that to him, but I was thinking that like, man, give me some space. But it's not fair to be mean to the cashier because you're in a hurry. And this this really stood out for me when I was sick, you know, had had chemo and I had to get some stuff from the store and I was feeling bad that day. And I was like so nice to the cashier because that's how I, I'm always like that. But I was super nice because I wasn't feeling good. And I just thought I just had... It was like God was talking to me like, yeah, you don't feel good, but maybe that lady is having chemo too. It's not all about you. It's not all about you because I was sick. That is not an opening for me to be rude. You should be more humble when you're sick. And I understand some people that are sick, they're mean because they're in pain. I get it. I get it. Trust me. But be intentional. What if in this world we did live by the Bible verse, do unto others as you would have them do unto you? What if we did that? There would be no gun violence. People wouldn't cheat on their wives and their husbands. 
There would be um, no abuse, no molestation, no bigotry, no rape, no uh, races, racism. I was trying to say that and I said rape. But it'll be none of that. No babies will be hurt. No kids will be hurt. No husbands, boyfriends be beating up their partners. No girlfriends beating up their girlfriends, wives, boyfriends, husbands. Imagine that. Imagine the Beatles song. Imagine. <laughs> wow. Just wow. A little bit of love goes a long way. So maybe now going forward, we could check ourselves before we wreck ourselves. We can be kinder, a smile. You see somebody elderly sitting in like, you know, a wheelchair in front of the grocery store, talk to them, say hi. You, you enjoying the weather? I did that recently, it was a gentleman in front of the grocery store and he looked kind of happy. He was sitting in his seat. He said, yeah, I am. I'm just waiting on my ride. It was a beautiful day. Maybe I was the first person to talk to him that day. You don't know. A little bit of love goes a long way. Maybe you're not that friendly. You're more introverted, and that's okay. We love the introverts. I love the introverts. We need quiet people in this world. It balances the world out. But if you're having a bad day, stay inside. Don't come out. Don't have, don't, what about the mean customer service people? Don't you love them? Why did you take that job, sir, ma'am, it? Why? To be rude? You shouldn't even deal with the public then if you're a rude person. It's not right. And honestly, people hate to see you coming. When you have a bad spirit, trust me, your reputation precedes you and people talk about you. They're not going to tell you. But they're going to say, she mean. She got a bad attitude. I don't like her. I don't like him. He is a jerk. Trust me, I done seen it play out 15 times to Sunday. It don't matter who you are. You could be a church member. You could be a client. It don't matter. They're going to talk about you behind your back. And they're going to be like, you're a mean. That's a mean person. Or oh, I don't like them. And I know people say, I don't care. I don't care. I do. Because you could have two, three, four degrees, you can have licenses, you can have looks, smarts, experience. If you have a bad attitude, baby, they running from you. They taking off running. Trust and believe. And forget about romance. Forget about it. Forget about it. It's over. They Nobody don't want to be bothered with you. Yeah, for a little while they will until they really see how you are. A little bit of love goes a long way. A little bit of love. So maybe if you're having a bad day, have a strategy to turn it around. What can you do when you're having a bad day that can reverse it? Maybe the grateful, the gratitude list. That's what I do. Thank you, God, that I could walk. Thank you, God, that I could talk. Thank you, God, for hot water. Thank you, God. Because it could be worse. So I just started doing that. I just started doing the gratitude list. And that, that makes me feel better. Go for a walk. I'll go for a walk. I'll do some meditation. Call somebody that's positive. That's always a good one. Maybe if I'm having a, like, a last Thursday or something. Yeah, I was irritated. Very irritated. Luckily, it was the day I was going to talk to my therapist. So I was able to talk with her. And she, she'd be right on time. She is right on time. I told her that. You right on time. So get something in place. If, if the day is a little off, go get you an ice cream cone. That, that, hey, that's going to put a smile on your face instantly. Netflix. Something funny. Watch the Upshaws. That, that'll have you laugh. <laughs> they so funny. Like, you know, hang around a kid. You can't be mad and be around a little cute face. Little funny face. Tammy Sharice Walker, the owner of this here channel, Dreams Are Reality. It is a reality. No bad days on Dreams Are Reality channel. <laughs> Have a good a good day, a beautiful day. God bless you all. Have a good day. No bad days. 
Love you all so much. Take care, and I'll be back. Bye.